Yo, 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 Chikorita fans, it is me, Jake the Happy Snaker, and welcome to part 8. Part 8? What is wrong with me? Okay, part 4 of my Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. In the last part, I went through the Viridian Forest, and I didn't do too, anything too, too special in there. I was trying to look for a Pikachu, but I didn't end up finding one, which is okay, because, you know, Pikachu is a really awesome Pokemon, especially when it evolves into a Raichu, but, you know, I can do without a Pikachu, it's totally fine. But anyways, um, in this part, we're going to take on the first gym of the game. Um, so let's go ahead and read the sign over here. Pewter City Pokemon Gym Leader Brock. The Rock Solid Pokemon Trainer. Uh, yeah, Brock is the first Gym Leader ever invented, or not invented, well, yeah. Uh, actually, all, the first, the, the, all eight Gym Leaders in this game were, were all made simultaneously, so he's not really the first Gym Leader ever made, but, yeah, he's probably the most popular, and, that, and that's because of his role, um, in the Pokemon anime, because I think he was in the Pokemon anime for, like, 12 seasons or something, I forget. But it was somewhere around there. You guys could, I'm probably wrong. You guys can, can comment saying that I'm wrong and say how many seasons he was actually in. But I think it was around like 11 or 12. But anyways, yeah, let's go inside. Um, and uh, let's switch Jake to the front. And yeah, this is going to be like a five minute video because this won't take long at all. Because Jake is going to one hit KO every single Pokemon in here. And you actually find um four Pokemon in here. Three different Pokemon, but four Pokemon all together. Because this, this guy's got two Pokemon, and this guy's got two Pokemon, and yeah. But anyway, you can actually skip this guy, this trainer, and you can just go to Brock. Um, but, um, I'm going to battle this guy, because I want the experience. So yeah. Anyways, this guy's got a Geodude and a Sandshrew. And I don't know why he has a Sandshrew, because Sandshrew, last time I checked, it just, it's only ground type, not a rock type. But, who cares? Um, and, oh, it looks like we're not going to one-hit KO every Pokemon. Um, who cares? You sand attack, I don't care. I'm gonna kill you, so yeah. What? How did that not kill you? What the heck? Oh my gosh, no. Thank you. What the heck? Alright, anyways, level 13, that's pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, so anyways, that's done, and now time to go take on Brock. Let's battle him from behind, just because I feel like it. So you're here, I'm Brock, the Pewter City's Pokemon Gym Leader. Uh, my rock hard will willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit and determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all of the rock type. Wah, you're going to challenge me knowing that you're going to lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Alright, here we go, not going to speed through this battle because this is, this is our first gym battle, guys. So yeah, I have to keep things at the, at the normal speed. Anyway, a anyways, he starts off with the Geodude at level 12. And Vine Whip, 1 hit KO, yeah. Uh... If you come in here, if you come in here with a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle or maybe even an Ivysaur or a, or a War Turtle, depends how how much you train your Pokemon, then you're gonna have an easy time with this guy. It's gonna take like it, it'll just be way too easy. If you have a Charmander, it might not be that easy. However, when Charmander evolves, I believe it learns Metal Metal Claw, which is a Steel type move, which is super effective against Rock types. So yeah, that's pretty good. But anyways, we're all, we just grew to level 14 and. This Vine Whip will, t will knock out this Onyx in one hit. So there we go. Here we go. We just took out the first gym leader. Yeah. Um. Anyways, and almost level 15, but not quite. You took. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. JD just received the Boulder Badge from Brock. And yeah. Uh, just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables you to um, the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know move Flash to use it. Uh, yeah, fourteen hundred dollars. Wait, take this with you. TM thirty thirty nine, which is actually Rock Tomb, the same TM that Ro Roxanne gives you in Pokemon Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. So yeah. But anyways, there we go. We took out the first gym leader of the game, the most popular gym leader ever, in my opinion. And let's check out the badge. There it is. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Um, yeah, but anyways, uh, cool, so let's go heal and end off the part. Uh, oh yeah, here's the museum, you guys can, yeah, go in there, nothing, nothing special at all in there, but, anyways, let's go heal, and yeah, so anyways, thanks guys so much for watching, I do appreciate it, God bless you all, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next part, adios.